All right, Jesse, I'm fired. This story just got a lot more dramatic. So the Islam Makashev story is uh, is heating up. I got a video that's already out right now that's that's moving really fast about the uh, about the pictures of uh, Islam's arm. So a lot of people are getting to understand the the kind of uh, the gravity of this situation because Volkanovsky's team, uh, Dan Hooker is the one who took it public, but Volkanovsky's team claims to have proof that Islam Makashev used an IV to rehydrate after weigh-ins. Now. This is a really big deal in the event that he did it if it was illegal, right? If it was illegal. But there's a lot more to this because you got one side of this 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 whole thing saying that even if he did do it, it's legal. Now, this is very confusing to me because I have talked to, listen, like I, I did what I do, okay? I, like I didn't ask anybody if I could say their name, so I'm not going to, but I spoke to a lot of people who are very inside of this thing, okay? And here is basically where we're at, Right? You got Volkanovsky's team saying they have stone proof that Islam Makashev used an IV to rehydrate. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what the other side is saying in a second here. Uh, just really quick, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, please like this video, comment on this video. I'm going to be gone tomorrow. I'm going to be completely out of commission tomorrow. That's why I'm doing this video. I'm going to do another one. Crazy story about Tyree Nichols, the, the guy who got beat to death by the police. Oh, man. A crazy update on that. I think I'm going to try to film that right now super quick also because, like I said, me and Gabrielle, we're going to do some Valentine's Day tomorrow, baby. We're going to be out of commish. Anyway, uh, so yeah, subscribe, like the video, comment, etc. Let's go. So anyway, so Volkanovsky's team claims to have stone proof, like proof, not, not uh, you know, Dan Hooker, like I said in my first video, Dan Hooker's implication, or uh, what's the right way to say this? The tone of his accusation was very strong, very confident. You know what I mean? It's just, I, I don't, I, like I said in the other video, I don't know how else to read that other than like, this sounds like a person who has someone dead to rights. But here's the deal. So the other side, what they're saying, they're saying, first of all, Islam didn't use an IV, but even if he did, it's legal. Look at John Morgan's, like look at John Morgan's tweet. So uh, John Morgan's tweet states the following. I should have had this pulled up, but I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to read it right now. Okay, so John Morgan says that, uh, he said that UFC's November 2019 update to intravenous IV infusions policy for quick reference. Uh, he's told that the dehydration qualifies as medically justified to use an IV. However, UFC would no notify local commission of any athlete needing treatment. Okay, so what that means is that it is possible that Islam's IV treatment was legal, but only if the UFC signed off on it. Okay, only if the UFC signed off on it. Now, to me, that makes things very interesting because bottom line, if the UFC signed off on Islam getting an IV rehydration, I mean, how, listen, how could you possibly see that as, uh, as anything? I, I don't know. I mean, uh, what are you going to say about that, dude? So like, so it, other people are not super dehydrated when they make weight. Now, look, uh, like I said, they're saying that Islam didn't take an IV. I have no reason to, I have no reason to doubt whether or not, they, well, the only reason I would say, like you got two sides, one saying they have stone proof, the other one's like, no, he didn't. And even if he did, it's okay anyway, per John, uh, you know, John Morgan's tweet. So, I mean, listen, I don't know. What do I know, dude? What What do I know? This is gonna, it's gonna come out one way or the other, but I'll tell you what the most scandalous version of this is, is if the UFC gave a, uh, gave a, an exemption to Islam and didn't tell anyone. Do you know what I mean? Like to me, that's the, that's the, that's the way that this goes real sideways is, uh, I mean, not really real sideways. What are they, they going to do? Everyone's under contract, you know, they'd be abiding by the rules, but I would, I would say that, uh, people would have a very legitimate reason to say like, are you serious? You know what I mean? Like if, if Volkanovsky, I mean, even though Volkanovsky's up at 55, it doesn't matter. Like it's, he's still dehydrated. He still would benefit from getting an IV. And so would every other fighter, you know? And so in the event that Islam was given an exemption and was able to rehydrate using an IV and the UFC signed off on it and didn't tell anyone, I don't really know how you read that. Uh, other than every single fighter should start asking for a rehydration, uh, you know, exemption, obviously. So this thing's going to get this thing is going to get dicey is is what's going to happen. You know, like this, in my opinion, I think like this is going to get uh I don't know. I, I mean, listen, they, the Volkanovsky's team is saying they have stone cold proof. Okay. 
Now, like I said, Dan Hooker's the one that took it. I'm saying like since then, I have heard that they have stone proof that he IV rehydrated. I have no ability to, to rehydrate or to <laughs> no ability to verify that. But uh, but yeah, the other side is very confident also. So I don't know, man. It's going to get dramatic. It's going to get dramatic. It's all going to come out. Uh, I mean, look, I don't have a dog in this fight at all. You know, if uh, it, apparently if he did use an IV to rehydrate and he did not have an exemption, it's like a two year suspension. So it would be super serious. You know, it would be really, really serious. He's right in the dead center of his prime. He's like 31, 30, 31, 32, a two year suspension. That'd be horrendous for him. Horrendous. And if he really did uh, take the IV, I mean, what are you going to say? How could, what, what could you, what could you possibly argue? You know what I mean? If he didn't have an exemption. So that's what I got. Quick video. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. If the UFC gave that exemption, that'll be very, very dramatic. If, uh, if they didn't and he took an IV, that would be very dramatic. And if, uh, you know, if this whole thing is total BS, that would be pretty dramatic also. If Volkanovsky's team was, was fed bad information, Totally, I mean, not impossible either. So we'll see what happens. Uh, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, tell your friends, comment, like, watch the Tyree Nickel video. Love you guys. Peace.